G'day ZikiD here, and in this video I just want to give you guys a bit of a news update, lets you know that some cool things that are happening. Firstly, tomorrow I'm going to be going to Sydney, uh, to the Blizzard HQ, to check out the new Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls console edition. Uh, they have invited me along to come take a look at the game and give it a bit of a play, and uh, we'll take our camera and uh, I'll see if I can get my hands on a capture card, but I don't actually own a capture card myself. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, either way, I'm going to be able to get you guys some sort of footage and first impressions and uh, content around the new console edition, which is pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about this. Even though I don't own a PS4 myself at the moment, I'm still kind of excited about this because I played uh, the original Diablo 3 console edition after playing tons and tons on the PC. And it was actually like one of the best console games I've ever played. Like it was a really, really solid port and probably one of the best co-op experiences I've ever had. More, and that was the main reason that really sold it to me. They added a bunch of extra features and stuff over the core game and then really uh, set about making it a fantastic co-op experience and me and Amy played through it. And uh, because I am, you know, a bit of a power gamer, it's what I do. <laughs> I play pretty hard in games, generally speaking. Uh, I tend to uh, rush a bit, you know, I tend to go a bit fast and that gets pretty frustrating when I'm trying to co-op with Amy, who Amy likes to, you know, stop and check out the scenery, to, you know, take a more chillaxed approach to the game. So the, uh, the design of the original console edition was that uh, it really supported uh, keeping the two players together in a really good feeling environment. Like, there was an auto-teleport feature if people were getting, you know, too far behind so they didn't have to run, you could go hands-free if you wanted. And there was a bunch of other really cool features keeping you on the same screen and all that. And you never really felt like you got left behind. I never felt like I had to rush too much, and Amy never felt like she was having to keep up. It was just really well designed and put together. So uh, I think uh, it's going to be it's pretty nice that we're getting the expansion back here. But more importantly, there's going to be a bunch of new features that aren't in the normal Reaper of Souls on PC as well, like a bunch of console exclusive features, which may eventually come to PC. But uh, some cool new features in there, so I'm very excited to check some of those out. Some of the things I've read and seen so far do look very exciting, and I'll be able to give you guys some more details on those uh, firsthand, uh, you know, after tomorrow. So hopefully, over the next few days, I'll be able to get those up. So the next piece of news is on to the other side of my action RPG love affair. Oh, such a golden age for action RPGs in general right now, isn't it? Isn't it? We've got Grim Dawn, Path of Exile, Diablo, Van Helsing, and then other games like Borderlands and things that have action RPG elements. It's all happening, and I think there's like Sacred coming soon as well, so it's a good time to be an action RPG gamer. But uh, anyway... <laughs> So, uh, other piece of cool and pretty exciting news is I am going to be the new host, or one of the new hosts, on the uh, State of Exile, Path of Exile podcast. So, uh, some of you guys know, uh, Hegemony was uh, stepping down, but his last episode was on the last State of Exile podcast. And uh, Xenocide contacted me and invited me on, and I love podcasting. I've done quite a few podcasts now. Uh, I did a uh, I did a Diablo 3 podcast way back at launch, the Diablo Herald Australian podcast, and I did that for quite a few episodes, and I've done a bunch of other smaller, you know, one-off podcasts and things like that, and it's, it's really, it's a really fun content style to do, to s sit for like, you know, an hour and just like, talk with other people who are as passionate as you about a game, that is, uh... One of, the, one of my favorite things to do, I think, so I'm very looking, very much looking forward to that. And uh, then, you know, Path of Exile as well, one of my favorite games, so <laughs> it's like a it's like a win-win. So I said, I said yes, I was like, of course, I'm definitely going to get involved in this. Now, uh, I want you guys to, uh, you know, try and do your best to uh, show up for the uh, live if you can, otherwise you'll be able to catch the VODs here on my YouTube channel. The live uh, streamed version of the podcast will be on Xenocide's channel. I'll put links down in the description below, including the times for the podcast. But I'm really, really hyped about this. I had Xeno on stream yesterday, and we spent about an hour talking about uh, what we want out of the podcast. We talked with, you know, the, the viewers at the time, the chat, uh, got some ideas from them. I've put some ideas forward to him, and uh, I think this is going to be a real, like, a real big revamp and improvement for the podcast as well. These guys have been going for 11 weeks now, and it has been pretty pretty solid, but uh, I think it, 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 there's room for it to step up even further and become something really, really rad. And I think this is something the Path of Exile community really needs or really should have as well. We have a really strong, smaller sort of community here that's really passionate about the game, 
And, uh, you know, coming from StarCraft, where there was the State of the Game style podcast, which I was very, very into watching that. I had, you know, I had a lot of good experiences watching that as a newer player in StarCraft and then as a developing player and then as, a, you know, someone who was very involved in the community as well. I'd like to see the same sort of thing happen in Path of Exile. I think it's there's a lot of potential for it to be a really big thing for the Path of Exile community and something that brings it together. And then on top of that, GGG watches and gets involved in the podcast a lot. Chris Wilson was on the very last podcast. I recommend if you haven't seen any State of Exile podcast, you go back and check out that because Chris gave a lot of cool information about the game design and moving forwards into the next expansion pack. So lots of cool info there. But uh, they, they watch this and pull feedback from the podcast. So you guys getting involved and us having these open discussions about different game mechanics and the metagame and things like that, uh, that can fe feed back into GGG and feed back into game improvements. We can have like a real direct impact there as well. So it's a chance for the community to sort of, you know, uh, put all of their, you know, all of their thoughts and concerns and, uh, you know, just comments on the current meta into that and then uh, filter back to GGG. So I think it is a really important thing and I think it's uh, going to be really, really good. Based on my discussions with Zeno so far, I'm very excited for the direction of the podcast. We both want the same things and we both really want to step it up and have it be sort of a state of the meta style discussion podcast with lots of cool other features in that. We're even thinking about doing some, you know, some cool extra fun things as well, uh, like, you know, checking out recent epic deaths and things like that. So very cool. There's going to be Rise QT and uh, I just got word also that Pox would be on the show as well, possibly uh, coming on as a another host as well. So, pretty cool stuff. I I want you guys to try and uh, check it out. But if you can't make it for the live stream, then there will be the vods up on my YouTube channel after the fact as well. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the news update. If you have any comments or thoughts, let me know in the comments below. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.